Hello viewers, hello listeners, hello everyone. Thank you once again for joining me on DMAPS TV. Please don't forget to subscribe if you are coming here for the first time. If you are regular, just do the usual. Please like and comment and also share our videos so that you won't miss any of the videos that we do here. Because what we do is we give you current affairs in real time. So yes, yesterday, Fadzai Mahere, the former spokesperson for the Citizens Coalition for Change, was tasked with explaining what Nelson Chamisa meant when he said we are disengaging from parliament and council. Of course, yes, ladies and gentlemen, when Nelson Chamisa announced that a lot of people were confused and they wanted to know what exactly Nelson Chamisa meant and Fadzai Mahere explained a saying, disengagement entails not transacting official business in the House of Assembly, including parliamentary sittings and committee work. This has been necessitated by the fact that unless the illegal conduct of the speaker is challenged strongly, there is a real risk that we will all be wrongfully recalled, thus compounding an already existing constitutional and governance crisis. So what Fazai Mahere said in this first instance is that they are disengaging, they are not going to be attending any parliamentary sittings or committee sittings just because they want to send a strong and clear message to advocate Jacob Mudenda that what you have done is wrong and must be reversed because what they perceive is that if they do not do so, if they do not force Jacob Mudenda to reverse all the MPs in parliament from the CCC side will be record willy nilly. The, she goes on to say, you will actually note that normal debate yesterday was impeded because the speaker did not like the constitutional contentions and points of order and clarity we were raising. When we insisted on our position, armed riot police were called in to silence us. Most MPs were beaten and injured. We were illegally ejected from the house. There was no interest in sincere debate as prescribed by law. Parliamentary privilege was breached at every turn. So I think, ladies and gentlemen, this is also the advantage or maybe the disadvantage of having a lawyer as a member of parliament. We are now seeing more law in parliament, which is quite good for the people because at least their rights will not be downtrodden. She goes on to say, how do we represent you adequately with guns to our head and button sticks swinging in our faces? Is it reasonable to continue with business as usual in such a toxic anti-constitutional environment? As President Chamisa said this afternoon, meaning the day before yesterday, the disengagement measure is time-bound, 14 days, during which time political, legal and diplomatic pressure will be applied to ensure the will of the people is respected in all constituencies. While disengaged from transacting official businesses in the House, we will continue to engage residents and constituency in our communities in the usual manner. We will hold feedback, meet and greet and voter education meetings as previously scheduled. The ones for Mount Pleasant will be shortly advised. It's not a withdrawal yet because we are not formally resigning from Parliament. The legal consequence of not withdrawing at this stage is that the seats can be declared vacant at this stage. The extreme measure of withdrawal or resignation will be considered as a last resort and communicated if taken and should the need be arise. I hope this clarifies the position. Of course, yes, it does. So what they are saying is they are disengaging from Parliament, but they are not actually withdrawing because what withdrawal does is the seats will be declared vacant as soon as possible and the country will be plunged into another by election and we know how elections have been very divisive to the people of Zimbabwe so that was Fazai Mahere's clarification she says we are not withdrawing yet we are not resigning from parliament Anoko Nekainemfaro Dinuenyo, Honorable Madiba.